It's another season on the Coquihalla Highway, an engineering marvel, which is one of the most vital highways that must stay open 24-7 to keep the traffic moving. We got a spun out on the smasher in the fast lane. Quiring towings, Gord Boyd heads out to the scene. We got a spin out in the fast lane. That's not good because then the highway's not moving. Turn your wheels. With the driver's wheels turned, he's not helping Gord. He's just plowing the highway. Idiot at the wheel. 65 kilometers to the north, Ken Monkhouse heads out for a blue beetle in the ditch. And it looks like the driver might be late for her cruise. Okay, Darlene, I'm going to rig up my truck to your car and pull it out and load it onto my flatbed. Thank you, Ken. I'm trying to use the word palms in every conversation today. Fifty kilometers to the south. We've owned this truck for two years and I've never stepped foot in it. For Jamie Davis, everything has changed. This season I'm trying to simplify my life, simplify this business, and I've had to make some really tough decisions to do it. Three months ago, Jamie sold one of the most powerful tow trucks in his fleet, the Rotator. You become the truck and the truck becomes you. From the first day it rolled into its yard, four years ago, the Rotator has been Jamie's dream truck. They have the ability to move and lift stuff in a short radius. It's hard for you to get rid of one of your favorite trucks. It's almost like losing a part of your family. The sale is part of Jamie's downsizing plan in Alberta and BC. This season, my main focus is to do the recoveries that come in. The driver of the truck smelled smoke from his truck and unhooked his trailer from the truck before it blew up in flames. I'm going to drag the truck onto the flat deck and get it off the road. It's still smoldering if you've got a wooden flat deck though. Yeah, but I'm not waiting 36 hours to wait for it to go out on its own. I told Highways that we would get it off the road today. This season, Jamie's brought back a familiar face. Scott Bird worked the mountain passes three years ago and has more than a decade of time logged on the coke. The things I miss about Hope is that there's more accidents, more weather, and there's just everything you could ask for. Jamie needs a guy that can handle the job and has done it before. And boy, the things I could tell you. 
Once Jamie loads the burning truck onto his wooden flat deck, Scott Bird will tow the trailer off the highway with Jamie's newest wrecker, a 35-ton Vulcan V70. The fire is spitting fireballs at us. This is something to not mess around with. The truck is still hot, but the fire is out. Low and slow, I'm gonna take her down the highway. Wow, Jamie Davis is on fire. With the strong winds, the fire catches right on Jamie's truck. 126 to 501, you're back on fire. Now that the wreck is burned out, Jamie can finally take it back to Hope. We like our wrecks hot. 1100 kilometers away in Edmonton. Uh, we got an 18 wheeler that went off the bridge near Nisku. And I've got my swamper Sammy with me to tackle a massive recovery like this. Bula, bula, bula! Sammy now works for Doug down at DRM in Edmonton doing traffic control. Doug's plan is to use the lifting power of his Century 1140 rotator to lift up the tractor of the truck and to bring it back up to the bridge. Hey Sammy, rig up the chain down on the front and rear axles of the truck. Bula bula bula! With a successful recovery, Doug and Sammy will now tow the truck off the bridge and get it back to the yard. Bula bula, eh, Sammy? The next day, 200 kilometers west of Edmonton, Jamie gets an urgent call on Highway 16. So yeah, the trucks are on their way. Dispatched from his base in Edmonton, lead driver Colin McLean rolls to the crash site in HR 117. Over the last two years I used to be a rookie and now I'm top driver in Alberta. Right now westbound traffic is stopped. Nobody is going anywhere right now. This season Colin and Johnny are operating a pair of heavy-duty wreckers, a 50-ton HR 117 and a 35-ton HR 126 the most powerful trucks left in Jamie's downsizing fleet. The trailer is carrying a hundred cylinders of natural gas. I've got reps from the trucking company and about 55 fighters on scene. The plan is to have HR-117 pulling from the road while HR-126 pulls from the grass. Together, the two trucks will perform a reverse rollover. I'm going to put my two main lines onto the trailer and one drag winch onto the tractor. With HR-126, I'm going to hook up one winch line to the landing gear of the trailer and lift it as Colin pulls. But Colin has the biggest challenge ever, trying to operate three winch lines with only two hands. What Colin has to do is to make sure he has the right tension with his cables, because with one screw up, that's it. Johnny will now hook and book with the wreck half in the ditch with HR-126. Yeah. 
We tried to get it off the highway quick as possible, but now we'll have to pull it with both wreckers. Now Johnny will tow the wreck away and call it a day. Face it, Johnny! Face it! This season we have quality, good service, my stress level has decreased, and we have the right guys that can do the job.